Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going over just the regular Monday updates that I do every single week. Now, starting off with some announcements that came out yesterday. Uh, now, I could have made a video for it yesterday, but I chose to just kind of combine it with today's video anyway, since this is supposed to be kind of like the weekly update video anyway. So it's like, it didn't make sense to do it yesterday and just do it kind of like again today. So just combine it all into one video. But starting off from yesterday's news, we are celebrating the king. We're currently celebrating his 90th birthday this week. And I guess you could say throughout the entire month for that matter. And one of the things that we're going to be getting are the free jewels draw where every single day you will have the chance to pull from this banner. Uh, it's one free pull, you get one medal out of it. And you have a chance of drawing the Riku and Mugu medal from the banner. Uh, and you're guaranteed to get at least one every five draws. Now, just keep in mind, it only lasts for up to 20 days, and I believe we only have like 18 days left at the time of making this video. Um, so if you pull every single day, uh, from ever since this banner came out, you can get up to four Riku and Moogle medals, and to get the jewels from each of them, you have to sell the medal in order to actually obtain the jewels. So they're going about it a little bit differently from what they've done in the past where you just simply needed to to have obtained the medal and have it in your inventory and they'll just gift you uh, the jewels. This time you actually have to sell them uh, to get the jewels. And this time as well, you're only able to get 500 jewels uh, for the medal compared to a thousand like it has been in the past. It feels a little weird and different, but overall you're still basically getting the same amount of jewels that we've gotten from these type of things in the past anyways. Roughly around two, three thousand jewels is, uh, roughly around what we, we usually get anyway. So it's not that big of a difference. The only gripe that I have with this thing right here is the fact that we're, we have to f sell the medal where some people such as collectors or just, uh, passionate Kingdom Hearts fans like myself like to try and have at least you know one copy of everything that comes out in the game just for kind of like nostalgic and collection purposes and stuff so the fact that i have to sell it where i would like to have at least one copy um feels kind of bad but that sort of thing is up to the individual next up for the mickey mouse celebration stuff uh we are seeing a return of a ton of the previous mickey mouse related outfits such as the king and queen mickey uh, outfits, these ones right here, and then the snow outfits right here as well. And then there are the more old school traditional ones that came out more towards the beginning of the game and such. So those are like the traditional Mickey Mouse outfits, the marching band outfits, and these are some kind of like autumn fall type stuff. Okay, the only ones that are actually of major concern to take a look at are going to be, for the most part, really these ones right here, the king and queen Mickey and Minnie Mouse, as well as the snow outfits. And that's primarily because of the fact that they come with a skill perk of plus nine for the king and queen outfits. And the snow ones come with a skill perk of plus six uh, as well. Uh, aside from the skill perks, the skills actually within each of these avatar boards are not that great uh, in the first place. So uh, if you were to get these, it would be purely for the skill perks and that's it. Uh, next up for the 90th birthday celebration, uh, we are having a quiz event, and I always appreciate these just because they're fun, uh, and always just kind of, how should I say, like, indulges people into the lore of whatever it is the quiz is about. Typically, it's Kingdom Hearts related because it is a Kingdom Hearts game. And in this case, for the Mickey Mouse 90th birthday quiz event, um, pretty much almost every single question that gets asked in this event, and there's 15 uh, stages total to this where you can get a total of 1,000 jewels and Mickey boosters just from completing it. It's super easy. Um, almost every single question is related to Union Cross or just Kingdom Hearts in general in some way, shape, or form. I believe there's only like one or two questions that are like not related to Kingdom Hearts or Union Cross in some way um, that's purely about Mickey Mouse but they're typically super easy to answer such as like how old is Mickey Mouse well he's 90 because it's his 90th birthday <laughs> easy questions like that but if you happen to be having some difficulty with the quiz, uh, quiz event itself and the questions and stuff you're not that very knowledgeable about Kingdom Hearts or about Mickey Mouse himself, I'll be linking Roboloid's picture that he's provided on Twitter uh, in regards to the answers for every single qu uh, question for each stage. 
Last but not least, uh, for the 90th birthday celebration, we are having a Search for the Hidden Mickey event. Now, this is more of a social media event where the stages that are provided, there's three stages, and you have to, just like what is shown here on the screen and the pictures, you have to go around the stages. Uh, it's basically almost the entire world is opened up for each stage, and you have to try and find the little uh, Mickey silhouettes on certain, like, rooms within stages take a picture of it and then you post it on social media for all i know they might have all been found already uh and on twitter but if we as a community can find all 18 total mickey mouse uh silhouettes within the event and post them on twitter the entire community will receive i believe it's like 1000 jewels yeah 1000 jewels right there Next up are the things that came out today. Uh, so starting off, we're going to be talking about VIP. Just like usual, we'll be getting the golden ticket. And just like last week, we are getting a return of the Terra Xehanort B medals with 1,400 extra jewels as well. Um, it's a pretty good medal. I highly recommend uh, getting a copy if possible if you're not too worried about spending money. Um, and of course, just like usual, the magic brooms and magic mirrors and the gems, uh, both of these are still trash, I should just add, uh, and need to be improved on. I will keep, I don't know how many times I have to iterate that <laughs> until something gets done about it, but I would highly appreciate a increase a bit, at the very least the gems, because the gems are by far the most invaluable part of the VIP deal for now um, out of everything else as well as the magic mirrors. The brooms are kind of okay but are still uh, not nearly as worth compared to the price tag attached to VIP. Especially since it's, uh, it's been looking that lately within the last few weeks or so they've pretty much been dying uh, like dumbing down what they've been including in VIP. It's There's almost nothing really included in VIP these last few weeks except a medal and that's it that's literally been it <laughs> and even like in some cases like the what the like the white mushroom for example that wasn't even worth pulling for vip for um it was n that is not vip worthy i like it, it was just really bad that should have just been a regular medal that came out in a game that's just in the pool uh, in my opinion. Next up, we are having a competitive raid week this week as well, where you have the chance of getting the Chernabog wings for the top parties in the game for each union. These wings provide a raid boss perk of plus 10. Realistically, raid boss perks are kind of super irrelevant. It's not even worth having raid boss perks at this point in the game. It's one of those things that's just obsolete that they just don't do anything about. Quite literally, at this point in time in the game, the only uh, perks that are actually worth having are skill perks by far. Uh, next up would probably be uh, item drop perks, and after that, maybe the critical hit perks for these uh, those special types of metals, such as like Luxord Plus, for example, because critical hit perks do increase the chances of the critical hits for Luxord when he does this attack to actually occur to get the high end of their multipliers. Another metal like that is Setzer. But there's only a handful of actual metals like that in the game. Uh, so critical hit perks are even then are kind of like really low on the tier list. The only ones of actual value are the item drop perks uh, for the super rare quest, farmable quest that we have within the game. Um, we almost never get them these days too. So the only ones that are of main concern are the skill perks. Last but not least, and I know this is what everybody has been wanting me to talk about <laughs> already, uh, and in case you don't happen to already be following me on social media or on Discord, uh, I've already expressed great disdain for this banner I have in the past when they've previously done it in the past as well. This realistically should have been or at least more along the lines of what the Blue Fairy deal should have been last time they tried to introduce it uh, in the global version of the game because of the fact that it's quite literally a golden ticket. All right, um, except probably even arguably a little bit better 
than a golden ticket because you are guaranteed at least one tier eight blue fairy medal within every single pull of this of this deal. Now, the thing about this banner though is that it does cost 1500 jewels and I'll go to the, oh, I'm already in the store. It does cost 1500 jewels in the shop and realistically, at least in my opinion, this is not worth doing at all. Okay, I've said it many times in the past, but no matter how you look at it, at the end of the day, they are literally trying to get you to pay uh, for evolution materials within the game. I don't know about you guys, but at least in my opinion, that is not something that should be encouraged at all whatsoever. And one of the main reasons why I'm so against this is that if it does end up being encouraged for them to keep doing stuff like this, uh, they're not going to stop at just blue fairy medals, okay? If large amounts of people continue to spend on these blue fairy deals, the blue fairy deals are only going to be the beginning. Sooner or later, they'll start getting more and more egregious with how their banners are going to be to the point that they might even just completely try and sell you on trying to obtain money or synthesis materials for your keyblades. Heck, even maybe like SIDS, <laughs> Chips and Dales. They'll literally start making banners like that more in the future when those type of things should be mechanics within a game that you should just naturally be able to attain through normal gameplay, through just playing the game. And by supporting the Blue Fairy deal, you're basically telling them that those type of practices down the line are going to be okay, which is something that I'm not for at all whatsoever. I'm completely against. Uh, and I highly, highly like, it's not even encourage. It's like, I, I'm, I'm please, I'm highly suggesting to you guys um, or and for any of you guys who happen to take my word seriously or at least respect my viewpoint I, I would even say like I am telling you guys to please don't pull from this even if you really need the blue fairies like that one tier eight blue fairy please don't do it because it's only going to lead to even worse types of banners and decisions uh, in the long run. But with that spiel out of the way for the more logical aspect about this though uh, Another reason why I don't like about the Blue Fairy deal specifically, ignoring everything I just said, but, but looking at it from a purely objectionable and uh, value-based decision, purely off of the banner itself, uh, I still don't think it's worth it just because of the fact that 1500 jewels is a lot for this type of thing. Uh, because realistically, if you want to get five copies of a tier eight, uh, for example, Blue Fairy Metal, so that way you can evolve one of your tier eight medals within the game. Uh, that does mean it's gonna cost you 7,500 jewels, which if you think about it, that's literally half of a five pull mercy that could be coming up at any time. We could very easily be getting, just like with the current uh, prime tier seven, seven star King Mickey banner that we have in game. This right here is literally a seven star tier seven medal that's brand new and is pretty good as well. This is a five pull of mercy. We could very easily be getting tier eight medals that are just like this type of banner deal in the future. We're already at tier seven. Uh, we could very easily be getting prime tier eight medals within a couple months as well. And in my eyes, it's way more valuable to just use those 7,500 jewels on the tier seven or tier eight seven star banners that are coming out in the future. Because remember, that's half of a mercy pull than it is to try and get five copies of a tier eight blue fairy uh, to evolve one of your older tier eight medals instead. I don't know about you guys, but to me that just makes way more sense. And at the same time, you're getting more bang for your buck for your jewels. And to make matters even worse, when you even take a look at what's contained within golden tickets these days either, uh, the only tickets they can actually get, the only fairies you can actually get within gold tickets now are tier five, tier six, tier seven, and tier eight, okay? Ever since the changes that have been made to the silver tickets where they completely excluded the tier three uh, blue fairies from silver tickets, it is now pretty fairly easy to get tier five. Uh, fairy t uh, medals from the silver tickets, okay? So the fact that they're even gold tickets, it, they're kind of like the useless bunch of the gold golden tickets now, okay? Um, there's very few tier six medals at all period within the game, let alone actual tier six medals are actually worth evolving to seven star in the first place. There's literally only like three. <laughs> there's only like three tier six medals that are actually worth seven starring for that matter, for the most part, okay? So, um, so in that aspect, tier six is practically useless. So the only actual 
blue fairies are actually worth obtaining these days are literally, uh, from a gold ticket I should say, are literally just the tier 7 and tier 8 blue fairies. So quite literally half of the medals that you could potentially get from the blue fairy deal are in a way kind of unnecessary, like not useful or kind of trash. Uh, and just to make matters even worse than the things I've already pointed out and butchered this deal over and over again is that to add on to what I just said, the probability, and it's the same exact thing for what it is for a golden ticket, the probability of getting a tier 8 outside of the guaranteed one is 10%, and for a tier 7, it's 20%. You literally only have a 30% chance of actually obtaining uh, a tier 7 or tier 8 blue fairy, which are the only ones you actually need, or like, are actually wanted or worthwhile to get in within this type of banner deal. So no matter how you look at it, every single thing about this banner is just not worth investing any time, effort, money, or jewels into. So if you want to help do your part and do what you can to make the game a better place, please, by all means, just don't pull from this banner. <laughs> but other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. If you enjoy the type of content that I create on the channel and provide for you guys, please by all means consider becoming a sponsor or a Patreon for the channel. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.